Once upon a time, there was a town when no one was allowed to cry. It didn't matter if you were happy, sad, angry, or hurt, crying for any reason was forbidden. Surrounding the town were ten pillars, and upon them stood cyclopses. The cyclopses had magical eyes that could see teardrops. They could see teardrops in the air, teardrops in the ground, and even teardrops that had sunk into the ground. At the center of the town was a well, which the town drank from. And chained beside it, the, cy the, ch and the cyclops is a chained beside it, a basilisk. For every teardrop that the cyclops saw, cyclops saw, they would t milk one drop of poison from the basilisk into the well. And for every drop of the basilisk's venom into the well, the town would have nightmares for one night. In this town lived a little girl named Sienta. Sienta was much like everyone else in the town. She didn't cry, but she also didn't sing, or laugh, or dance, much like everyone else in the town. Sienta was with her friend Hoi Mer in the apple orchard, picking orchard. Hoi Mer was younger and shorter than Sienta, and he asked her to pass him an apple as he couldn't reach them. Sienta plucked a rosy apple off the tree, and she tossed it to Hoi Mer. But it was a very bad throw. The apple went over Hoi Mer's head and tapped the trunk behind him. Hoi Mer turned around, but the apple bounced off the trunk and went over his head again. Hoi Mer turned around again. The apple hit a branch, came down, tapped Hoi Mer on the head, arrrr, off. Sienta laughed. She laughed and she laughed and she laughed. Hoi Mer laughed as well but not as much as Sienta. Sienta laughed so hard that she began to cry. Fourteen tears dropped from her eyes onto the, onto the ground, and the Cyclops saw every single one. They milked fourteen drops of venom from the basilisk into the well, and the town had nightmares for two weeks. Sienta felt terrible. Because of her tears, the town had nightmares for a whole two weeks. But she also felt good. She felt free, and she believed that it was because she had cried. She wanted to cry again, but how could she with the Cyclops watching? She decided to do some research on them. She went to the library, and she looked them up. She discovered that Cyclopses could see tears through everything except crystal. So she immediately went to the market and bought herself a large crystal bowl. That night, Sienta thought about this town when no one was allowed to cry, and how they had nightmares because of her, until she again began to cry, and she cried right into her crystal bowl. That night, the town nor she had any nightmares. Sienta had discovered a way to cry. And any time she needed to, she would run home and cry into her crystal bowl of tears. This continued for seven years, and she had at this point two huge crystal bowls filled to the brim with her tears. But the Cyclopses were becoming suspicious. Though they had never seen her cry, Sienta would sing and laugh and dance, unlike everyone else in the town and the Cyclops were becoming suspicious. Sienta knew that they, would send, that they would send their hunters into her room, and they would find her tears under the bed. So she decided to do what she, so she decided that the only way to escape this was to run away and to take her tears with her. But she couldn't take two, both balls of tears because they were just far too heavy. So she thought she would hide one in the one place where even the Cyclops would not think to look. She tiptoed, past the sleeping basilisk and dropped one whole bowl of tears down into the well. She tiptoed away and she ran from the town. The Cyclopses saw her leave and they sent their hunters after her. She came to the hot desert and she crossed over it, hoping that the hunters would be too timid to follow. But the, but the hunters were afraid of, of the Cyclopses and so they bought camels 
followed after Sienta. Sienta came to the green jungle, and she weaved through the, over the bushes and through the green vines, hoping that the hunters would be too big to follow. But the hunters had brought big knives, and they chopped the leaves and vines and followed Sienta through the green jungle. Sienta then came to the snowy mountain, and she hiked up it, hoping that the hunters would be too cold to follow. But the hunters had brought furs, and they wrapped themselves up, and they followed Sienta up the snowy mountain. When Sienta got to the top of the mountain, she was exhausted. She realized that the hunters would catch her, but she would not let them get her tears. So she hurled it off the cliff as far as she could. The hunters came, grabbed Sienta, and they dragged her back. They dragged her back down the snowy mountain, back through the green jungle, back over the hot desert to the town when no one was allowed to cry. But the town was different. The pillars were gone. And as soon as the hunters brought Sienta through the gates, the people tore the hunters away from her and held her up as a hero. Sienta was confused. She saw her old friend, Hoi Mer, who told her what had happened. When Sienta had dropped her bowl of tears down the well, the town had beautiful dreams for a month. They had dreams of happiness, dreams of sorrow, dreams of anguish, but all such beautiful dreams. And the town decided to revolt. They broke down the, they broke down the pillars that held the cyclopses and sent them on their way and they unchained the basilisk and left it free, and went to live happily in the green jungle. The hunters were also very sorry for chasing her, and they swore to Sienta that they would do whatever they could to make the town a happier place. This made Sienta very, very happy indeed, to live in a town where everyone was allowed to cry when they needed to. But she always wondered if one bowl of tears could make an entire town revolt, what would be the fate of the ball that she had thrown off the snowy mountain? Thank you. <laughs>